Hi, I'm Johnny Marr, Watch Sales Director of IconicWatches.co.uk. Um, we're a UK operation. Um, we've been established since 1943, and the Iconic Watches website is a fairly recent introduction onto the UK web scene. Um, today we're going to be reviewing one of Rolex's most recent offerings, um, which is the new style Rolex Yachtmaster 2. Um, the model reference number for this watch is at 116688. Um, obviously you'll be able to find this advertised on our website. I think we're currently offering a discount in the order of 25% of retail. Here we see the new Rolex Yachtmaster 2 in yellow gold. Uh, it's one of Rolex's most recent offerings. Um, it's got some very interesting complications on the watch. Uh, it's the yachting countdown timer. Um, it's fairly unique complication to this particular watch from Rolex. Um, you can see the bezel of this watch. Rolex have disposed what traditionally they used to just have a have a metal inlay. This bezel is actually ceramic, and Rolex have a very, very expensive and very time-consuming process um, using platinum engraving. Um, one of the problems with the earlier Rolex Yachtmasters, where the bezel was actually gold, it had a sandblasted finish. Um, which unfortunately was very, 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 very vulnerable to damage. Um, this is a much more resilient bezel and will take a lot more wear and tear. Um, the old bezels on Rolex Yachtmasters, they use the sand, they use the sandblasted finish, and unfortunately, even if the watch was worn under a cotton cut, for example, in a dress watch, you often found that finish went, and it's very expensive and very difficult to regain it. Um, you can see this is really quite a large watch for Rolex. Um, traditionally, Rolex are a company who don't tend to innovate too much, and a lot of the cases are the same size. This, in common probably with the Rolex, Rolex um, Seedweller Deep Sea, um, is one of the largest watches Rolex make. Um, it's also, to my knowledge, the only Rolex they make apart from the Daytona, which has an additional complication and the two push buttons on either side of the case. We can see this this particular we can see this particular watch is a brand new example. We have a look at the side of the case. We can see the plastic case seal and Rolex put these on to protect the watch. Anyone selling a watch described as unworn or brand new should always have plastic case seals on the watch. If you have a look at the reverse of the clasp, you can also see the very distinctive Rolex red case seal there. Um, if we take the watch off the stand, you can also see on the reverse of the watch Rolex now puts an additional, on the reverse of the watch, Rolex now puts a clear plastic case seal. On older Rolex models, traditionally you would have had a green hologram sticker. Um, apparently this caused allergies and Rolex has now disposed of it and just uses a clear plastic sticker on the watch. If you have a look on the dial of this watch, it has a fairly unique chronograph complication. Uh, it's one of the only Rolex watches apart from the Rolex Daytona to actually have a chronograph function. This is very unique to the yachting fraternity. We have a look at this chronograph. Rather than the standard chronograph, which would measure hours, minutes, and seconds, you can see at 6 o'clock on the dial, that is the subsidiary second hand. We can see that that's now running regardless. Um, that's similar to the Daytona, one of the sub-dials on the Daytona is your subsidiary second. We have two pushes on the Yachtmaster 2. This pusher starts and stops the function, and in common with other chronographs, the second pusher down here, that is the reset function. So if we start the chronograph, we will see the sweeping second hand. That measures the seconds. If we have a look on the inner chapter ring of the dial, that is actually counting down in minutes 
it's a 10 minute countdown um, so this chronograph actually only measures in minutes and seconds you see I've stopped the function now you can see the the red arrow hand is slowly counting down the minutes if I stop the function it can also be restarted and obviously if we press the reset button you'll see everything re zeros uh, the red arrow hand will go back to 10 minutes and the the second hand will reset to 12 o'clock okay so you can see that we can see the new Rolex Yacht Master 2 it's on the traditional Rolex Oyster bracelet um, which obviously you can see the removable links here that's a job we can easily do prior to the dispatch for anybody buying one of these watches um, you can also clearly see all the plastic case seals to show that this is an unworn and brand new watch the Yacht Master 2 usefully is fitted with Rolex's new clasp now the old clasps you would have had a series of holes here and adjustments for different wrist measurements uh, you can also see now if you can see inside the clasp there are a number of different settings um, but the watch is aesthetically much more pleasing because the little reset is for the adjustment pin and now on the interior of the clasp you can also see this clasp is much, much superior in terms of the amount of gold used and how robust it is compared to an old Rolex clasp. An old Rolex clasp tended to be much thinner on these aspects. And unfortunately, with continued wear, and particularly if the watch brace that was worn loose, oftentimes you would find this gold bending and the the functionality of a clasp being compromised. On the barrel of this watch, in common with most of the Rolex range, we have a luminous style. If you have a look at the square arrow markers, they're actually filled with a substance called superluminova, which is replaced the traditional tritium Rolex and other watchmakers used to use, which was actually radioactive and led to a lot of problems with disposing of dials at the end of a watch's life. Um, fortunately, Superluminova, you'll all be happy to hear, is not radioactive and actually gives a better quality of luminescence than tritium. Rolex actually uses a number of anti-counterfeit measures on these watches. Unfortunately, one of them is not going to be visible to camera, but on the 6 o'clock position on the glass, Rolex now use a process of laser etching, and one really needs a jeweler's loop. To look for this uh, it's actually the Rolex coronet which is being etched onto the glass some counterfeits of these watches although to find a counterfeit of a fully gold Rolex watch is more unusual because of the cost involved actually they do try to replicate that feature but in all the cases we've ever encountered that coronet is actually eye visible it should never be eye visible it's only visible under a jeweler's loop you can also see that in addition to having the traditional case and serial number of the watch engraved on the actual case underneath this bracelet, Rolex now also very usefully on the inner of the bezel, not only do you have the Rolex, Rolex name repeated, you also have a unique case reference number of the watch replicated here. And this case reference, I suppose, is equivalent to the chassis number of a car and his Rolex keep a record of where each watch was sold in the event of a loss or if a watch was ever stolen this is a very very helpful feature on this watch to aid in recovery and in insurance claims. In common with all recently manufactured Rolex watches you'll see that this brand new watch now comes with the credit, the credit card style warranty Rolex have disposed with the old paper punched warranties um, these new ones are more secure um, you can also see this is an additional method of verifying the watch if you have a look just above my finger you can see the case reference number of this watch which is obviously not unique and my finger is actually covering the case reference number of this watch fortunately here at Iconic Watches um, wherever possible 
we can get the watch made out in the new owner's name. You'll see this new style warranty card is actually blank and fortunately it's also been left undated. Um, so we're, we're you buying this as a Christmas present or a birthday present, we could actually date it with a date of your own request. Thank you for viewing this review of the Rolex Yacht Master 2. We hope you found it reasonably comprehensive. Um, if you wish to view this and other watches, um, our website address is www.iconicwatches.co.uk. Um, we also list some pre-owned examples of such watches. Um, we hope you found the review helpful. Thank you.